Why guy's first game in Masters? I wonder how it'll go. Honestly, I never expected our protagonist to reach Masters this soon. Lately you have been too confident, is this the prelude to some failure and rise arc? I hate to admit it, but everything is going too well, and I'm beginning to worry about the future games. I firmly believe that the gods both give and take away, and Y Guy has received a sizable number of victories in accordance with this. It feels like watching a final season of your favorite anime, I want you to be challenger, but I'm also not ready to say bye to this series. Well that's a nice way of wishing someone to get hard stuck. Just kidding, it may take a hundred or even a thousand games, let's just all enjoy the ride. Pike is so weak, especially right now in a tank bruiser meta with all mages building Roa. On the contrary, after playing Pike for a number of games, I feel that he's in a pretty good spot, and upon checking the numbers, he's currently sitting on a healthy win rate of 50%. It drops lower at silver and gold, but in diamond and even masters plus, where vision control is crucial to the game's success, Pike is even regarded as S+. For me, Pike right now is a little bit on the stronger side. Rakan made a respectable choice, that is true love at its finest. After a quick back-to-back -back death from below, Lord Wydra expressed mercy on Sharko upon noticing that the orchestra had trouble keeping up. Nice gaming by Sharko though, he managed to bamboozle Y Guy in that fight. After giving his mid laner the lead, it's time for top lane to receive the same treatment, Varus being their bait. The final play that demolished the spirits of his enemies unfolded.
That's just the way it is. Grandmaster and challenger players simply give up too easily. Fortunately, we find ourselves in a diamond game. I hope we're still in the phase where the gods are still giving. Of course, why not, unlucky, unfortunate. Just words that come to Y guy's mind as Hecarim runs them over two minutes into the game. It was the fifth-legged differential that our protagonist never saw coming. Unfortunately for her, Y Guy is not Rakan. Lord Wydra believes that unlike your typical challenger ADC, Saya will not troll them after he leaves her to die. Instead, our protagonist proceeds with a play that'll be beneficial to winning the game. A lamb and a wolf, that's what Y Guy sacrificed to cut down Hecarim's fifth leg. After that super early gank, it sure is nice eliminating him and snatching the blue buff. Despite the fact that his death is unavoidable, thanks to that flash from Tristana, Y Guy's going to die happy. Even though the fight didn't go as well as Y Guy had hoped, but on the other side of the map is a breacher known for his exemplary ability to open up those gates. I guess the giving of the gods continues. Well, okay. 